Hey guys, I'm back with part two. We got done with a lot of Pokemon last time. And now we are on to Spirit Tomb, I think. So Spirit Tomb is number um Yeah, 442. And we should get the rest of them done. And then I'll give you a few more tips on how to complete the Pokedex. Spirit Tomb is going to be a rare encounter at the Turnback Cave. So to get there, we start at Veilstone City. And it's going to be this way. And if you saw my fossil farming video, this is going to be the same spot. In this little forest. Then we have to go up and around this lake. And then there's going to be a cave down there. And you find Spirit Tomb in this cave. But you have to actually smash rocks. So just come in here, smash all these rocks until you find Spirit Tomb. It is a very rare encounter, so it might take a little while. Gibble is going to be found in Wayward Cave, north of Orborg. And it's going to be underneath the road. So we come up here, cut down this tree, and I'll show you where underneath the road. And this is the spot to find Gibble. And right there. And you'll find Gibble. Rialu can be found in Route 216 in Sinnoh. So I'll show you where that is. Start in Celestic Town, and we're going to go through the cave. get to Route 216. Use a repel. And it should be pretty easy to get through this cave over to Route 216. Just go straight up. Up this stairs around here, and here you'll be in Route 216. So you should find it running it back and forth in this grass. The best bet for Hippotas is going to be the Rune Maniac, which is right over here in this cave. Now, if it's like this, it should be a rare encounter, but if it's act an actual tunnel, then it's going to be a common encounter. The best way to get Skroopy and Drapion is going to be to catch Drapion because we don't want to go into the Safari Zone for this. And it's going to be Route 228 in this grass with a lure. Rogunk can be found to the left of Pastoria in Route 212, which is right over here. In this grass, you'll find Krogunk. The only place to find Carnivine is going to be in the Safari Zone, which is also known as the Great Marsh. And I'll show you where to catch it. So you're going to come over to the left here. And it should be in either this grass or the, the grass above on the left side. Vineon is very common as a fishing Pokemon. Route 205, you'll catch it with a good rod right here. Snover is very common in Lake Acuity, so we're going to start in Snow Point. Just go to the left, and you'll find Snover in this grass right here. Rotom can be found to the left of Eterna City. It's going to be in this forest. And it's going to be up in this mansion, so you got to cut down this tree. And you'll be able to find Rotom in here. He's pretty rare. On to Snivy. Snivy can be found in Pinwheel Forest with a lure. Pinwheel Forest is going to be right here. And 
you'll find it with a lure. Tepig can be found in Route 3 with a lure, just past the daycare center, right in this grass. Oshawott can be found in the cold storage area, just south of Driftvale. This grass. Pat Rat and Lily Pup can both be found in Route 1 very easily. Purloin can be found in the Dream Yard, so I'd recommend coming over here, right through this gate, in this grass, Purloin. A good place to find the elemental monkeys is going to be in Lost Lord Forest, which is right over here. I'm going to come up and to the right. And through this grass, right here is Lost Lord Forest. You'll find the three elemental monkeys. Muna is also here in the Dream Yard. High Dove is very common in Pinwheel Forest. Should find it while hunting for Snivy. Right here. Blitzel is common to Route 3. You should find it while hunting for Tepig. And just to the left of that is going to be your best bet for Renegarola, which is in Wellspring Cave right here. Woobat is also very common in Wellspring Cave. Timber can be found at Pinwheel Forest or at Cold Storage. You should find timber in this grass. Time Pole is also in this grass. The easiest place to find Throw and Sock is going to be Route 15. Which is just down here in this grass. Pinwheel Forest is also a good spot to find a Swadloon or Sea Waddle. Venopede is very common in Lustlorn Forest, so you should find it along with the three elemental monkeys. This is also a decent spot for Cottony, as well as Petalil. Basculin can be fished at Dragon Spiral Tower just north of Icarus City. Just fish right here, you'll find Basculin. There are five Pokemon that can all be found at the Desert Resort. Those are Sandile, Darumaka, Maractus, Dweeble, and Scraggy. And Sigalith can also be found at Desert Resort. So the desert resort is going to be just south of Nimbasa. Right down here. To the left. Right up here, this is your desert resort area. You should find those six Pokemon there. And a Yamask can be found in the Relic Castle, which is just a little farther to the left of the desert resort up through here and it's going to be this way and right over here this is the relic castle you'll find your mask to get Tortuga and Archon, you're going to need the Plume Fossil and the Cover Fossil. Come to Nacreen City, and you're going to come go upwards into this museum. Talk to this guy. Cover Fossil is going to be Tortuga. And it just takes a little bit for it to come back. And the plume fossil is going to be Archon. Trubbish can be found Route 5, just left of Nimbasa. Trubbish can be found 
in this grass up here. To find Zorua, you're going to want a reactive gas Pokemon. I've got this Weezing, has reactive gas. And you're going to want to come up into Lost Lorn Forest over here. And search for Zorua here. Or you can even just Sweet Scent. Oh, and there's a Fino right here. So right here, there's a Fino. And let's see what it is. Maybe it's, see, it's Emolga. So that's a Fino-only type Pokemon. So this one, we're going to catch for Pokedex. I mean, I've got mine done, so I'll just, I don't need this thing. I'll just kill it. But yeah. Minchino can also be found Route 5 along with Trubbish. So again, it's right in this grass. Gotharita is a common Route 9 encounter. So just to the left of Oplicid City. And you'll find Gotharita. And also Delusion is a common spawn here. Vanillite can be found at the Cold Storage. Along with Oshwat and Timber. Deerling is very common in Route 6 in this grass. Carablast and Fungus can also be found in this grass. Grillish is very common in Driftvale City, just in this water. Joltic, Pharaoh Seed, Clink, and Tynamo can all be found in Charged Stone's Cave, which is right here. And you'll find all four of those Pokemon. The best way to get Elgium and Bayheem is Route 14. Just catch a Bayheem and breed it down into an Elgium. You can also Horde Hunt for it. Litwick is going to be in Celestial Tower, which is north of Mistrolton. And Litwick is very common right up these stairs. You can find Axu in Mistralton Cave, and I'll show you where that is. It's just north of Driftvale City, across this water. We're just going to surf across this water. Up and around. And Axu is a common encounter in this cave. You'll find them right in here. Cubchu and Cragnal can both be found in Twist Mountain, which is right over here. And I'll show you where to find Cragnal. Cragnal is down at this lowest portion in this cave. You'll find Cragnal. Shelmet and Stunfisk are both common encounters in this water right here. Bienfu can be found in the grass outside of Dragon Spiral Tower right here. And then Drudagon and Golet can both be found inside of Dragon Spiral Tower in here. And I think Golet might be upstairs. Ponyard can be found in Route 9, along with Goth, Gothidol, and Delusion is over here. Bowflint can be found in Route 10, which is just north of a Pelucid City. And you can also Horde Hunt it here. Rufflet and Vullaby can both be found at the Village Bridge which is just right of Oplucid. Through these two gates. And you'll be able to find both of them here. The best way to find Heatmore and Durant is just going to be at Victory Road in Unova. Go down all of these cliffs. And right in here, you'll be able to find Durant and Heatmore. 
good way to find Dino is just to fly to Victory Road and literally just right in this cave you'll find Dino. To find Larvesta you're gonna start here at the Desert Resort and it's gonna be quite a journey so follow along. We're actually gonna have to walk across this stuff. If you run you fall in. This one you're gonna want to fall down. Walk across. Just trying to go really deep into this cave. Gonna walk across this one and go down in this. Go down there. And then up through this door. And you might be able to find Larvesta in here. But uh, I know there's a spot where you can find them. So it's going to be through here. Left, down, then left, down, left, then through here and up. Right where you find Volcarona. You can also find Larvesta right near. That concludes all the Pokemon that must be caught. From there, it's just a matter of leveling them all up, evolving them with certain stones or with certain items, trading them, or breeding them down to get their baby form. Now I'll give you some tips on evolving or breeding down. For Pokemon like Rhyperior, where you have to evolve a Rhydon, and it says trade with, uh, all you have to do is go in your bag and just use this item. You don't actually have to trade to evolve into a Rhyperior. However, there are Pokemon that you will have to trade to evolve, so either get a mod or just find somebody that will help you with it. And if it says trade, you're going to have to trade to get that evolution. My favorite spot to train to evolve my Pokemon is going to be here in Lucanosa Town. It's going to be that Rapidash Horde. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a XP Charm. 50% XP Charm is fairly cheap. And you're just going to come in here and get some Rapidashes and then just level up your Pokemon until they evolve. There are some Pokemon that are gonna require happiness in order to evolve. The fastest way to evolve happiness Pokemon is to feed them berries until they're happy enough to evolve. So it depends on your Pokemon's nature, but here is the berry that you're gonna have to use depending on what type of nature your Pokemon has. Next is breeding down Pokemon. So whatever Pokemon that you have that you want to breed down, as long as it has your OT, when you breed it down, it will retain your OT and it will count towards your Pokedex. So an example would be Electabuzz. When you breed it down into Elekid, it will count towards your Pokedex. Otherwise, there are certain Pokemon like Snorlax into Munchlax that you will need to give it a certain item. And all those items are going to be right here. I think for Snorlax, it's going to be the full incense. So you just give the Snorlax when you breed it, and it will turn it into a Munchlax. There's a whole bunch of these other incenses that work for the other Pokemon as well. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope I didn't miss anything. And if you have any questions please drop them in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them. Otherwise, give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.